Hi, Yvette Michelle here from Crafted Spaces. I'm so excited to share with you guys my process behind doing my own DIY wardrobe. So last year, I went through my closet and I purged everything that didn't fit my style as well as my size. And in the end, I had a number of items that were now missing sort of major components to them to be able to kind of create a, a complete outfit. So I decided I wanted to do my own DIY wardrobe and bring you guys along for the journey. So what I did is I started the process with my wardrobe and looking at the colors and types of items that I had in my wardrobe and things that I truly loved, things that kind of fit within my, my daily activities and things that I really felt was a true reflection of my personality. Now, some of these items may not be on trend and I think it's really important that when we're kind of looking at this process that we kind of first connect with the things that really mean a lot to us and go from there. Next step, what I did was I went actually out to the stores. And I tried to get a sense of what was on trend, what sort of items you know I would normally want to purchase to add to my wardrobe, what sort of things would really kind of bring my wardrobe together, things that I was missing. And I kind of noticed there were a number of different colors and certain uh, items that I kept going back to. And I thought, okay, now I can take those colors and figure out a palette for myself something that I can build my wardrobe on, as well as kind of a, a bit of a guide when I was looking for fabric and patterns in the store. For me, I have a pretty extensive pattern and fabric collection, so I wanted to also start with items I currently owned and work from there, rather than adding and purchasing new items. So I went to, of all places, the hardware store, and I collected a number of paint chips and a number of different colors that really kind of what I was drawn to. And I'll share with you guys some of those colors that I sort of came up with. So these are the, the, the paint chip items that I had found. And I found this process very, very helpful because it sort of allowed me to sort of isolate specific colors that I was really drawn to and items that also coordinated with items that I currently have in my closet. So just to give you guys an idea, so for example, these are some of the paint chips that I had collected. And you can sort of see the range of colors that I have here. And these colors, strangely enough, when I went through my current fabric stash, were already there. They obviously, because these were items and colors that I actually naturally love, and also I'd already selected fabric that coordinated with them. So this was a great place to start, and I would recommend doing this even if you're not sure where and what colors you actually love, just sort of randomly collecting paint chips across the color wheel, across this different color spectrum is really a good idea. And I think when you get home, you can play with those items and kind of in the end, see what colors really resonate with you. This I think is a really great place to start because even if you don't have a current fabric stash or you're not quite sure what colors you'd like, it's a great way of getting a sense of what you're drawn to naturally. And it's a great way to visually be able to see what those colors are gonna look like with each other. I use this when I go to fabric shop, when I'm going through my fabric stash, and that way I can pull colors naturally without having to really think too much about what or not they're gonna to go together. The next step that I did was to go on to the commercial pattern manufacturers websites, things like, you know, Budrick, Vogue, McCall, Berta, and I looked at, you know, basically patterns that I really, really was drawn to and sort of fit within the styles that I had previously seen in the stores that I really had liked and would consider buying. I then came up with my own sort of like line sheet of the items to sort of see how they would coordinate with each other and came up with something sort of like that. Not sure how clear that will be for you guys, but basically what it is, is a basic line sheet of the different styles that I wanted to do for the current season. This really helped because this way I was able to visualize how the pieces will work together and kind of narrow down the pieces that I felt were doable. This may very well change. This might just be an initial way to get a concept going. Um, you can then sort of look at your fabric swatches and think of what type of materials will work with the items that you've selected. I felt like this process really kind of helped me figure out also which view I wanted to make because every pattern sometimes have, well not every time, but sometimes patterns will have different views or different sort of coordinates that are on the same pattern sheets. And I wanted to sort of narrow down which ones I really was kind of wanting to do initially. And I might approach the other patterns later or the other views later, but I, this was a great starting point I felt. The next thing that I did was create a bit of a schedule for myself, outlining how exactly I was gonna go about making each piece and kind of creating a target date for making those pieces. 
I think it was important to get a sense of, you know, what exactly the workload or the time requirement was going to be for the items that I wanted to make and sort of be able to plan it out in terms of fitting, fitting it into my busy schedule. The other thing that I think is really helpful during this time is looking at the difficulty level of each pattern and the skills and techniques that are going to be involved. So you can kind of give yourself a head start in terms of thinking about the additional materials you might need. As I said in the beginning here, I kind of went through my own pattern and fabric stash. So I started with patterns that I felt I already had purchased previously that I had wanted to make in the past. And of course, because I want you guys to join me, I kind of narrowed that down into patterns that I felt was also still gonna be available and accessible to you guys. The other thing that I found really, really helpful for the process that I approached was that it also gave me a sense of thinking about my own lifestyle and how the designs I was selecting was gonna fit into my lifestyle, my daily activities. Whether or not it was something that I was going to be able to wear with my son, you know, out and about or doing my, my classes in the evening here at the studio or working with my clients throughout the day. I needed to really think about each piece and how it was going to fit together. So what I'll be doing is creating capsule wardrobes. For each season, I'm going to be doing a small collection of items that work really well together. The idea is that at the end of the year, you have a really cohesive wardrobe that you can mix and match pieces and layer. I love layering and I find this to be one of the easiest ways in terms of approaching my, my wardrobe because it means that I have pieces that I absolutely love and pieces that I wear throughout the year, not just seasonally. If you have a different approach to this, or you can think of a different approach to this, maybe you can share in your, our comments and let us know what you think with regard to you know how I've approached it so far. For me, as well as for my assistant Amy, who will be joining me for uh, most of these makes, um, we really kind of narrowed down things that kind of was appealing to both of us. Um, and I think in the blog post and on the social media posts that we'll be sharing with you guys, you'll see how we kind of approach each of the projects that we've kind of outlined. I will be sharing more about the patterns and the fabric selections that we have come up with. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to join us and have really lots of fun with this process as well. If you decide that you want to join us, you just have to use our hashtag CSSewAlong. And that way we can see your images as you kind of create some of the same makes. Or perhaps there's makes you'd like to add to this that's separate. And I'd love to see how you guys put a spin on it, your own personal spin on it.